Okay, quick little video. Some of the guys on the forum wanted to know how I made my tube dry cell that has zero current leakage points. Um, easy as, two bits of stainless tube. In this case, I'm using 50 and 38. Uh, a bit of this, um, just a bit of um, breadboard that you can buy in the $2 shops, pretty cheap. Uh, just a uh, nylon bedboard, nothing special about it. You also need two hole saws, the right size. So you can cut out your circles, you'll see this still has the inside bit left in it. I first cut out the small hole while this is clamped in the drill press and then without moving it I cut the second ring around the outside. Uh, you will then need two of these tubeless valves from your local tyre shop. I cut the back end off so it's only about two mil thick and then put a little groove through the back of it just to make sure the gas is going to flow. You drill two holes in this pipe and you insert these from this way, pull them through the hole and that stops the current leakage around the hole because it is sealed with rubber as it does on your tubeless rims. So once you've done all that, you end up with this. The inner and the outer tube and our two tubeless valves and of course the outside is one polarity and the inside tube is the other polarity. And just to show you that we get our gas flow through there we just blow through the tube and you see no problem at all. So that is my zero current leakage tube cell. Of course we will need to make about 10 or 12 of these to get some decent gas production however it is very high in the MMW. So that is my tube cell that has zero current leakage uh, due to the holes being completely sealed by the rubber tubeless valves. Um, also they are brass so will not rust or rot away and they don't receive any of the current so that's how it's done. Well that's how I did it. Very simple, reasonably cheap and seems to be very effective. So we'll be making a heap more of these in the future and hooking them all up in series and see what we can do with those but uh, just for the guys on the forum that wanted to see how I've done it, that's how I've done it. Reasonably simple, takes about half an hour per cell to make with a cost of about $12 a cell unless of course you buy the pipe in bulk and then it will become cheap. These are only about 50 cents each so, and of course working where I am I get them for nothing. Well that's it from me, uh, we'll see you next test on the generator once I've made up a decent dry cell for it. Cheers from the tin men.